There's something in the sky. It leaves a shadow on the clouds. I've been trying to present this and show it in all of my, I could circle every object, but I want you to be able to look for yourself. Um, I'm not saying they're real objects, I don't know. Um, they could be projections, they could be distortions, because there are so many chemicals in the sky right now from, I mean, let's just say, let's just face it, even if we take apart the idea of chemtrails and remove that, and that's not happening. Um, the amount of pollution from cars and steamboats, um, any type of factories and planes does still create pollution. The sky is a mess, but we should as well admit that chemtrails are being forcibly created. Um, Unfortunately, I think it's backfiring and there it's leaving shadows where they probably wouldn't want you to see it. They're accidents. I'm not seeing them all the time. Um, there's definitely a rectangular uh, shadow. This one is not so much rectangular. This one looks like a bat, actually. I'm not sure why there's so many square angles. Um, there's a lot of speculation about a fake sun, and so it's possibly part of the apparatus being uh, shown through because they would use a transparent material to reflect and magnify what, what is our sun. Or, you know, it's not the fake sun would not be a light; it would be a magnifier sorts but otherwise this makes no sense um, it could be a spaceship meaning some type of city or uh, creation and it, it could also be partially something on along the lines of the sun is actually going super hot and they're lying to us and this could be some type of part of the shield where they put up flat pieces high up in the sky but I mean there's, there's no saying, but these are straight lines um, coming off of the horizon from an object that's not directly visible as far as anyone can possibly say. I'm not sure what would, what would offer that. Is that sort of like the ghost cities that we were seeing in, you know, the early to mid 2000, you know, late 2000, whatever, 10, 11, 12, people were showing cities in the sky in China in the clouds. Is that the same type of effect? Or is this, like I say, some type of object we've put in space that is meant to shield us or um, magnify sunlight or do its thing, but also is leaving a, a shadow. Um, but I can't not see this square rectangular shadow no matter where I look as well as this cigar-looking, spear-looking object that's, first of all, greeting our sun at sunrise and seems to be still there with it at sunset. During the day, it seems to divide the sunlight in half, and it puts a shadow on the left and the right, and occasionally it creates a full spherical rainbow where the light is wrapped around the object whatever this object's object is possibly objects like the blue kachina and red kachina I don't know I mean I'm almost speechless as to I keep seeing the shadow but I don't really know what to tell you as far as I don't really believe we, we as humans have gone into outer space, so outer space has its limitations, and I'm not sure what's going on in the atmosphere, though, and that's a whole other animal. They are spraying the death out of our skies, so we need to be aware, but there does seem to be a, a singularity in all of the spraying and all the chemtrailing and all of that is that there is this arrowhead spear-shaped, angular 
object heading towards the horizon always. And here it is, you know, square edge, triangular edge. It's at an angle. It's a parallelogram. So, um, if, if you watch any of my videos, I don't want to talk over all the things, you know, and the points. Um, and here you have the straight lines. And I don't know if that's the actual computer of the webcam trying to cover up something or if that's a harp line. Um, but you have these vector shapes. And the other shape I've been seeing is the, uh, I can see the silhouette of the clouds, um, the tuning fork shape, which I don't know if it appears in this video, but so these, you know, these are all appearing in almost every day I go to a camera somewhere and you'll see these giant square shadows covering the sky at some point of the sky, at some point of the day. So I'll continue to track it and I'll continue to let you carry on seeing it and you can tell me in the future what you think you see when you look through the sky and it's a beautiful world but it has become a strange new world as far as what we've done to the skies um, and so I can't really honestly say what's going on with the sky but I can say that I see some repeating shapes that shouldn't be there because nothing in the sky is square. <laughs>